Cristiano Ronaldo's move to Saudi Arabian side Al Nasir is already having a huge effect. Fans flocked to the club store and Al Nasir's social media accounts saw the number of their followers double overnight. We can speak to someone who's living and working in the eye of the storm, former Hearts manager Ian Cathro, who's the assistant manager of Saudi league club Al Ittihad. Good morning to you, Ian, and Happy New Year. You all right? I'm doing fine, thank you. Happy New Year to you. Thank you very much. Look, let's talk about it then. How's the arrival of Ronaldo been received then in Saudi Arabia? Well, obviously it's big news and it's certainly a landmark moment in the development of the league. So there's, um, as you can imagine, a lot of excitement for people here. You've obviously coached in England, I think Spain as well, Scotland and Portugal. What's the standard then of the Saudi Pro League and, and how does it compare to the other leagues that you've coached in? But well, you know, obviously, it's important to be to be very honest about that. That we we can't pretend to make any comparisons between you know a Premier League, Champions League level to to the stage that the the Saudi league currently is at. However, from my experience, I have to tell you that I found a I found a really really fanatical support for for the game and and for their own teams, and I would say that it's it's probably surprised me with how competitive the league is. There are good players in every team. Obviously, each squad can have eight foreign players in it, and you know it's it's an economically strong league, so they can certainly attract uh, they can attract big talents. So I can only say that my experience to this point has been a positive one, and um, probably the level surprised me that it's it's higher than than what I would have anticipated, having really not known much about it beforehand. Yeah, it's interesting. You wonder how much, I'm guessing Ronaldo knows an awful lot about where he's going, but how do you think he's going to settle in? How do you think he'll do? Well, I think one of the things we've got to bear in mind here that we're talking about one of the game's greats. This is a decision that he's made. That I, I think it's important that we recognise it. it's, it's, it's a decision which probably involves a little bit more than football with respect to, to maybe the roles that he's going to have in the development of the game here and, and things moving beyond the, the contract that I know he has with Al Nasser. The, um, the infrastructure... They are developing. I think there are there are some really really nice stadiums already in place. I know that they're wanting to develop further the the training grounds and so on. So you know it's a developing league, and we shouldn't pretend that it's it's more evolved than that. But um, again, I go back to 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 my experience to this point has been a positive one, and I have to say. They are very, very passionate about the game here. There is a, a strong place for, for football in their culture and every game has, has been competitive to this point. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? I mean, I wonder what the challenges will be for him, you know, adapting to a new league and a new country. Did you come up against anything? Well, you can look at me and quite quickly determine that I'm not dealing with the climate particularly well. <laughs> but at this stage in the year, it, it's a little bit easier. I know he probably enjoys the sun a little bit more than me, so he doesn't have that issue. But, um, you know, one of the things that I've probably taken from this as well is that football's football. And, and once you get into, into competing and when stadiums are, are filled with people who love the game and are, are fanatical about supporting their own team, and that the games are competitive, then, then that takes care of itself. Mm. Yeah, I hear you. It's interesting because of, the MLS was always kind of seen as the, the end of, of players' career. It, it's, do you think it's the same in Saudi Arabia there? Because, you know, we've watched a number of players who've previously played Champions League football and to a very high standard, you know, Abu Bakr, um, Odia Nigalo as well. Do you, do you think it is a league that's for the end of players' careers? I think uh, more so than that, I, I would be inclined to say that it, it's a league who's, you know, it, it's developing, you know, and it's probably at that stage where it's it's needing to bring more eyes and it's needing to attract more attention to the league. I have the impression that, you know, it's very, very smart people who are involved in, in developing football here and I don't think they want it to become a retirement home. Mm. But um, obviously there are stages and there are steps that they, they need to go through and being able to bring one of the game's greats is going to bring a lot of attention. And then I think after that comes the opportunity for them to develop the league further. I think they, they don't want it to be a, a wholly end of career thing for, for the world's top players. I think they want to develop the league into... You know, I, I don't anticipate they're going to become one of the top leagues in the world, but I certainly think that they, they have strong ambitions to to lift it, lift it up the levels with respect to how competitive and, and how renowned uh, the league is across the world.
Yeah, I mean... <laughs> It's almost certain that his arrival will see a spotlight shine on the league. You know, the fact that we're talking about it as well back here, you know, it's, it's important to everyone to see where Ronaldo goes next. And, you know, social media, we were saying that they're... they're figures have doubled overnight. So I'm guessing that this will galvanise potentially a culture of football there. Do you think it'll increase with his arrival? Do you think it'll get better with his arrival? Well, I think there's absolutely no doubt about that. Uh, for sure, stadiums are going to be full I and mean, i think there are, there are strong supports for for the big clubs here but naturally like 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 everywhere uh, the smaller clubs typically have less support less traveling support but i'm, I'm quite sure that uh, stadiums are going to be full i don't think there's any question about that and for sure there's going to be more interest from from outside you know we're having this conversation today because of this news mm. um we weren't talking about our, our games at the start of the season so naturally there, there's a shift already and um, yeah, for sure, there's going to put more eyes, more eyes on the league. And then it's down to, I suppose, what what they choose to do next um, with the opportunities that come. Al Nasser, I think two points clear of your team. Is that right, Al Etihad? So is it a bit daunting to know that Ronaldo's going to be in the starting lineup? Have you already made plans? Well, we have a game in hand, so we, we, we intend on trying to do our best to win that game as well, and that would also make a difference. But um, we, we've, as a staff, we've competed against uh, against Cristiano both in Spain and in England. So you know the circumstances are different here for sure. But um, it's it, it's not a new thing for us. And uh, yeah, look, we, we look forward to competing. Well, good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, Ian. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Thank you.